Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the Grace Grella Show. I'm Grace Grella, your intuitive host. And as always, we are here to get you into the positive zone. So if you have any questions about your love life, family, finances, friends, whatever it may be, uh, you need to hear from loved ones that... Um, are in another dimension. We love the other dimension. And uh, we're going to bring it to you and make you happy and get you in the positive zone. That's what um, our job is here tonight. And you know what? Life is just too short. We should be happy. Hello, get happy. Now I hear the Partridge family singing in my head. Come on, get happy. All right. So, and that's how they work. You know, just to lighten you up, whatever it takes, whether a song or a post on, a, on the Facebook. And tonight we're celebrating uh, all the lovely connections that I've made um, energetically through Facebook and with my special guest, Robert Richard Wright. Mr. Wright is here. Thank, Thank you. you for coming. Happy to be here. And um, you know you're going to have to come back because two shows is, a, is just not enough, honey. I would love to come back. Okay, good. All right, awesome. And I've been extolling your um, your praises and telling everybody how fabulous you are. And you are. And Thank you. Um, I love that I'm blessed to, um, to give you that recognition right here and now and say that. And I know there's uh, plenty more to come, and this is just the beginning. But I uh, please don't forget me when you come into your kingdom. Ah, I would okay. never forget you. OK, good. And um, also, that you're uh, a duly talented like I am. You're the psychic medium. And you know, I always make the jo a joke, yeah, I'm the psychic but the large, but above, you know, but, um, you know, it's, we have the same energetic uh, vibration because we both had, as youngsters, um, near-death experiences that really heightened and brought it to the forefront. And so I think that's why we resonate so well together. And I'm so happy that you're here and that we can help everybody that's either calling in here in the studio or that's going to be contacting us if they're watching the rebroadcasted show uh, by getting in touch with you at uh, Rob, uh, robertrichardwright.com um, or uh, may you know me, Grace Grella at uh, gmail or gracegrella.com and we'll make sure it happens for you. Right now, there's a beautiful Virgo at the microphone. We want to help her out. Welcome and thanks, uh, thanks for being here tonight. Thank you for having us. And do you have any, um, I'm sorry, love your first name again? Debbie. Debbie. I love Debbie. Okay, Debbie. I think Debbie cakes, you know, those, um, <laughs> those delicious <laughs> snacks. Debbie. Okay. Yeah. You know, it's sweet, sweet, just like you. And um, did you have a specific area that you wanted us to focus on? Yes. I'm wondering if you're sensing any messages from another dimension. Uh, did your mom pass? Yes. And has your mom been passed for like 10 years? No. Why do I get the number 10 around your mother? Is the 10th of a month or no. um, is the month of October important for your mother? She didn't get married, have any kids, and there's no anniversary, nothing with no. the number 10. You'll think of it when you go home. Okay, um, brain freeze, I call it. But your mom's telling me that, um, or that she was the perfect 10. Who knows? But she's giving <laughs> me the number 10. And um, was this cancer related, her passing? No. Oh, why do I see her lungs filled up with fluid? Why did she pass? I think she had a heart attack. You think she had a heart attack? Well, even with the heart attack, the lungs do fill up with fluid. I usually, okay. uh, that could be my, and you're a Virgo, thank you for correcting me. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. And, um, uh, but let's get it right and let's get it straight. Um, but she shows me the lungs fill up with fluid and that's what I kind of connect with uh, people when they pass from cancer. Um, but there was Are no you sensing only my mom? She says, uh, please allow her to give you the, the message first because she's not going to let anybody else through until she has her say. Your mom was a very strong force, though. Yeah, big time. Yeah. Age. I mean, honestly, when I read into her spirit, um, a good person, okay, but she did not take any BS. Okay, when I read into her vibe, um, she meant business. She didn't like to repeat herself, okay? And her independence, okay, was number one to her, okay? Sorry for the loss, okay? But your mom was a person that did not want to be dependent on other people, okay? And a lot of the responsibility and a lot of the work did fall on you, you know? But when I read into her message, okay, she, she wishes she would have been more flexible. Was she, in, uh, was she a flexible woman? No. 
Okay, because that's what she's showing me, that the two of you do love each other, but I could only imagine the times when you would bump each other's head. You know? Well, she keeps showing me Mommy Dearest. Huh? <laughs> okay? So there were times where you, you might have loved her, but you didn't like her. And I think she's trying to apologize to you. And maybe, uh, maybe you don't want to hear from her. Maybe you've made your own peace. Uh, but uh, it's, it's like she's outreaching to you to say, please forgive me for not being uh, more um, loving. And she was very loving. Okay. Honestly. If anything, what I gather from her, okay, uh, she was like a soldier, a trooper. Okay, as long as she was alive as the matriarch, everyone knew that it was going to be okay. And what I like about her message, okay, uh, she was the type of person that had a considerate heart, okay, but was also very strong-minded, okay. Um, she's sorry that she did have to rely on you. You understand? And, and she talks about you being her one. So I don't know if you are the only daughter or if you're the one that was always there, okay? But her message to me, for you, is she wants to say thank you with a lot of gratitude. It's just interesting, when I read into her, the uh, moment of her poor passing, she says she was reaching for you. Were you there when she died? No. Sorry for your loss. Thank you. Hmm. And what's the, um, also, are you one of four children? Or was she one of four children? Why do I see four children connected to your mom? How many siblings do you have, honey? Two. Two? So there's th three of you? Mm-hmm. Uh, and there was a fourth. There was a fourth. There was either she had a miscarriage or, because she's showing me four kids, okay? Um, so I just deliver it. Don't shoot me. I'm just a messenger, okay? Uh, but she, and she's very... Uh, there's no arguing with her. Just trust me on this. I have to say it because she's saying just tell her. Tell her. Okay. She's uh, probably talking about me. Uh, okay. Um, uh, does this make sense to you personally? Yeah. Somewhat, yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, let me just give you the information because um, I'm, I'm not trying to make anything fit here. I just want to deliver it, you know, um, at Western Union. As, as I'm getting it. Um, and I know as a Virgo, you're very analytical, and it's got to be like the, the, the T has to be crossed precisely, and the I's have to be dotted succinctly. And I get that. I have a Virgo ascendant myself, all right? Um, but sometimes when they give information, you know, forgive me. Maybe I'm not um, hearing it or, or, or uh, communicating it succinctly enough for you. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, but suffice to say, she um, is g uh, sending you um, a, an opportunity for a new home. She keeps showing me mortgage papers, okay, and she says out of state. So that this could be like a secondary uh, residence. In other words, like a vacation place, maybe in Florida or you know down south. I'm seeing palm trees. Okay, and she said that this is some uh, somewhere where you can find peace of mind and spirit for yourself. Um, and this is what she said she was trying to communicate to Robert that she wants you, with all that you gave for her, and you were her only one. You know, James Taylor, you are my only one. You are my only one. Um, she's singing that song to me to get me to say that. Is that um, this is going to be your um, oasis? Okay. Um, also, was there something to do with a, um, who's, who's Justin? Close. It's with a different first letter. Dustin. Oh, it's Dustin. Okay. And is this a child of yours? Yes. Okay. Thank you. And um, she says, um, oh, what do I see? Like teenager. How old is Dustin? Dustin was 28. Okay, but okay. Um, when he died, did he look like a teenager? Not quite. She, your, uh, your mother's, I goosebumps all over. Your mother says, tell her I beg to differ with her. He's gorgeous, he was young looking, and ba 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 ba. All right? Well, his illness aged him. Okay. Well, that's not, uh, well, you know, uh, uh, through the eyes of love, all we see is, uh, you know, uh, the beauty. Okay, and this is what I, oh, chills. Okay, I'm, I'm getting it right, she says. Um, so thank God I'm getting it right now. All right. And she said, your son, um, she was there to embrace him. And um, 
she's singing, uh, and this, you, you don't even look Irish to me, but she's singing to the Irish lullaby. Um, and maybe my mother used to sing that to me as a child, but there's some sort of like rockabye, my rockabye baby, or some sort of lullaby thing she's singing to, to your son. Okay, and in other words, I've got him. I'm I'm, I'm rocking him. You know, uh, rock the cradle of love. Here, she's she's um, made sure that he made his transition smoothly. Okay, um, he was very angry. She said when he first passed over, he was pissed off, huge. All right, big time, huge. He was not a happy camper. And um, there's a part of you that uh, is uncomfortable because you didn't want him to spend knowing that the rest of eternity was going to be like him being mad and in, in that energy space, okay? And your mom says, he's over it, <laughs> okay? He's, he's over it. He's, um, um, he's acclimated now, okay? And he's teaching. He's a good teacher, by the way, on the I other know. side. He's still teaching me. Okay. And um, he comes to you a lot. Um, um, and brushes your cheek. Do you feel like um, him brushing your cheek at night? Okay. Um, so you know that you're not crazy. You know that's really him. Yeah. I needed validation because I didn't have him present for a while. Right. He played a trick on me yesterday. Okay. All right. So this he's giving you your validation. I needed validation, Oh, yes. thank you, God. Thank you, Angels. Thank you, um, Dustin, all right, for yes. coming through. Okay. And uh, see, sweetheart, when we open ourselves up and don't be so rigid about what we want and when we want it and just, just go with the flow, then we receive everything. And that's coming from your mother. You had a very good son. Yeah. You know, when I'm reading into him, it's almost like his job in heaven is to welcome people. Yeah. The welcoming that's committee. That's what another... Um, medium told me. And the other That's message that I'm getting from him, he, sorry for the loss, okay, but he honestly was like a cat with nine lives, okay? When I look at his ability to always stay optimistic facing the disease, you know, I'm 45 years old. If I was coming down with a disease, I don't know how strong it would be. His, his message to me is at the end of his life, he wasn't really, he was more concerned about you guys. I know. You know, because the message he's like telling me to tell you that he said, I'm going to be okay. I'm so sorry for your loss, though, because he, he carries your heart always in his heart. Yeah, but he says you didn't really lose him. He's, he, you can't get rid of me that easy, he said, Ma. No, he I said, because I'm with you. I'm stuck like Lou to you, is what he just said to me to tell you. No, he's also he very proud of you. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, he's also very proud of you. Yeah. Big time. And, um, and what is this with guitar lessons? Did he ever want to take guitar lessons? Was that on his bucket list? Did he used to make a joke about it? No. What's this about a guitar and guitar lessons? And who is um, Michael to your son? I don't know. All right, remember what, I, remember what I'm saying to you, because this is his way of proving to you that I'm right on the money.